From year to year, month to month, week to week, and day to day, people across the world are obsessed with a phenomenon that is professional wrestling. But why? 101 Reasons to Love Professional Wrestling There are many components of professional wrestling that should be both understood and celebrated, in no particular order. Logos Symbols have been part of civilization since civilization has begun. Ancient symbols were found in caves from times way before us. These small artistic pieces represent culture, clubs, societies, and in modern times, used as a branding logo. Since the 1800s, thanks to the rise of the printing press, brands have been able to market themselves with mass-produced physical materials. Iconic logos have included Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Nike, Apple, and Starbucks, just to name a small few that have become embedded into our modern culture. Rock bands and other musical artists would utilize logos to capture the vibe of the artist and to give fans something to doodle on their notebooks in class. In sports, the team logo is on jerseys displayed everywhere and worn by fans. This is how we identify the team and check the box scores. A logo needs to be versatile, easy to recognize, unique, and something that can stand out as a non-written depiction of personality. It would be silly not to imagine professional wrestling adopting the same form of advertising and branding as every other company or artist. In professional wrestling, it is said that image is everything. Since its earliest days, the idea has been to sell tickets and make money. With this comes promotional materials to do just that. Wrestling companies would have logos and symbols to represent their business since the industry got off the ground. The WWWF logo would evolve to the boxy and iconic WWF logo. Then this would evolve into the scratchy logo of the Attitude Era. They would eventually get the F out and then switch to a sharper, lightning-like logo of the modern PG era. Other companies would naturally have their logo to represent their product. Professional wrestling is now praised for its spectacular production quality, but the design work throughout history goes unheralded. Exact roots are easy to debate, but logos were around as long as something could be printed and sold in wrestling. In the 1980s, logos really took off as merchandising became a mainstream tactic. There were many famous logos used for media, merchandise, and for production purposes. The likes of Hulk Hogan's Hulkamania, Roddy Piper's Hot Rod, the Ultimate Warrior's makeup logo, Randy Savage's Macho Man text with sunglasses, and numerous more have been embedded in the minds of all longtime fans. As time moved forward, so did the graphic design of some very memorable logos. Sometimes the branding will catch on in a huge way, like an NWO logo, the DX logo, Austin 316, Shawn Michaels' Broken Heart, Razor Ramon's Razor Blade, Bret Hart's Winged Skull, the Hardy Boys symbol, Undertaker's X and T, CM Punk's Fist and Bolt, and all of those iconic emblems. Of course, we relate this logo to the performer, and this makes a huge difference in how it's remembered. However, even logos of those who did not catch on, as big as those Hall of Fame performers, are still memorable to many longtime fans. A great logo does not automatically make the performer, but it sure as hell helps sell those t-shirts.